Hello everyone, my name's Caleb Ball from All Three, and today I'm making bacon. Sadly, that's not really the beginning or the uh, main focus of my... Sadly, that's not really the main focus of my episode today. But I figured while I'm making bacon, I, while I'm cooking up some bacon, I might as well share, you, share a story with you. So before I get into that, um, let's go ahead and do my little segment, Definitions with Caleb. So today's word of the day is ambitious. Striving to be more of a bitch than the average bitch. Ugh, Brittany fucked my boyfriend. Yeah, she's pretty ambitious. And that was today's word, ambitious. So today, I wanted to share a story with you, but it's not really a personal story, it's just more of a thing that I read online, an article, news thing that I was reading. Yay for bacon. Okay, so, um, so just yesterday, my friend Sarah and I were at, uh, the DMV because she was needing to go and get her license renewed and I and uh, she also needed to go take a, a, her driver's test again and uh, I was just there for moral support but we were there for like four hours from noon to noon to four just about and uh, four is when they closed so we basically spent wasted our whole time there. It was that crowded, it was that busy, it was that annoying. But so, um, while I was there, I obviously had a lot of time to kill. So I was surfing through my Facebook feed, and I found this one news article that really just astounded me. So let me just uh, tell you basically what the news article was about. So, I don't exactly remember where this was taking place, but essentially there was this woman and she was a 7th uh, grade teacher and one of her middle school uh, students had asthma and he all of a sudden was starting to have a severe asthma attack. Like he was about to die. <laughs> like it, it was really bad asthma attack from, according to the article. and. The teacher, well, the kid didn't have his, his inhaler, so he couldn't, he was just panicking, he was freaking out, he, you know. The teacher also had asthma, and what she did was she just grabbed her inhaler and gave it to the kid boy to use. He used it, and he's fine, he's safe now, he's saved his life. Now, once the parents found of the boy found out about this, they started to press charges on her. They called the police and wanted to press charges on her for uh, using the teacher's inhaler without informing the parents first. And my God, that really just—I mean, it just blew me away a bit, you know. Because, like, that woman just saved your kid's life. Yeah, maybe technically it... Maybe it wasn't the exact same prescription or whatever, but... For whatever reason, he didn't have his inhaler, that, that little boy. Maybe it's your fault, you stupid parents. But regardless, the police did a bit of an investigation, and it was pretty much dropped immediately because the police, it, the case was thrown out. Um, but like, how ungrateful can you be? My God, if I, like, I wanted to be a teacher once. I wanted to be an English teacher. And like, if I had a kid, if I had a student who's uh, had asthma attack, and let's say I had asthma, 
I would probably do the same thing if the kid didn't have his inhaler and he was having a severe asthma attack. That's just a really good thing to do. Save the boy's life. Not let him die. But anyway, that was just my whole two cents on the thing. Let me know what you guys think of that. Um, do you agree? Do you agree with me? Or do you agree with the parents that she really shouldn't have done much? I don't know. But, uh, let's see, that's really all I had <laughs> in terms of a story. Um, it's, it's been a slow week. You'll notice uh, from last week's episode that I was able to post the lost episode. Um, and the reason for that was because uh, me and uh, Dee and I, we sort of, uh, we work through our issues pretty much. She's, what can I say? She's crazy. But all women are crazy. So, I'll just let leave it be at that. It's fine. We're, we're being friendly towards each other. It's not anything romantic like it used to be, but we're at least on speaking terms. Okay. All right, bacon. Time for you to become delicious. Woohoo. Ah, oh, feel that heat last in your face. That's what she said. I don't know if that made sense or not, but it felt appropriate. Alright, well, I didn't have too much else in terms of a story. Uh, in terms of news, uh, George and I, George is wanting to do some filming with me sometime soon, and hopefully that'll, hopefully that'll happen. Um, no word as yet as to when that might take place. He might come in for Kale's vlogs, he was thinking about doing his own vlog series. I don't know. We haven't talked too much about it. Anyway, though, uh, this concludes week... What is it? Has, is it? Is this episode 22? Have I been doing this for 22 weeks? I don't know. It's pretty cool, I think. But uh, this concludes week 22. I think it is. If not, if I'm incorrect, then I'll just leave a note here on the video somewhere as to which episode this is. And whichever episode it is, awesome. I've done it this far, I'm gonna keep doing it. And I hope you guys like, leave a comment, favor, subscribe, whatever it is you wanna do. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>